Isang magandang araw na naman. So, let's proceed to the next topic. Ang uh, itadiscuss natin ngayon ay the equations of rotational kinematics. Kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo, doon sa unang topic natin, yung rota rotational uh, motion natin ay can be related to linear motion. Kaya napapansin nyo doon sa mga discussion natin, mayroon tayong mga velocity doon, mayroon tayong displacement, uh, acceleration, etc. It's because they are all related to linear motion. But in this case, we're going to discuss about the equations of rotational kinematics. Kung meron tayong kinematics equation in linear motion, meron din tayong kinematics equation for rotational motion. So let's proceed. So to complete the linear motion equation for kinematics, we have to adapt the concept of linear velocity. Now, linear displacement and linear acceleration, similarly, we will also adapt this method and combine the idea of angular displacement, angular velocity, and angular acceleration to make, an, to make or uh, derive the kinematics equation for rotational motion. Katulad nga doon sa mga ginawa, tin, ginawa natin no, sa previous uh, discussion natin sa angular displacement, angular velocity, and angular acceleration. No? Inadapt natin, no? nirelate lang natin yung kanilang equation doon sa linear motion. Ganun din yung gagawin natin dito sa kinematics equation ng rotational motion. Irelate din natin sila sa uh, linear motion. So kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong linear motion dito, dito sa diagram na ito. Let's uh, assume that this is uh, figure 1. And this is uh, figure 2. So, dito sa figure 1, familiar na kayo dyan, if you already uh, done with my discussion sa uh, equations for kinematics, at uh, na, na, na discuss ko lahat yan doon, na pinakita ko rin sa inyo kung paano dinerive yung bawat, isang, bawat isa sa equation na yan. So, kung hindi nyo pa napanood yun, hanapin nyo dyan sa video natin yung equations for kinematics or ililink ko na lang dito para ma, mas ma-absorb nyo pa kung saan ang galing yung mga equation dito. But in this uh, video lesson, hindi ko na ipapakita sa inyo kung paano na derive yan because I already did that in our previous video. So, ito yung linear motion natin. Pag sinabi natin kinematics sa uh, equation sa linear motion, we are assuming that the acceleration is constant. Take take uh, take this uh, this very important uh, note for linear motion sa kinematics. We are assuming that acceleration is constant. So if that is the case, pagdating natin sa rotational motion, i-assume din natin that the alpha is constant o yung acceleration natin ay hindi nagbabago. Okay? So what is uh, what are the equations for linear linear motion? So meron tayong ganito equation 1 is uh, final velocity divided by this is uh, b sub o yan. Uh, sorry, not divide. B, uh, final velocity is equals to initial velocity. Maybe I should fix that uh, um, mamaya kung kung matapos ko to para smooth yung ating presentation. So uh, final velocity is equals to initial velocity plus uh, acceleration times time. Yan yung equation number 1 natin. Then, equation number 2 natin, distance yan, displacement or distance or x is equals to 1 half initial velocity plus final velocity open and close parenthesis or quantity times time. And then, the third equation natin is x is equals to initial velocity plus uh, initial velocity times time plus 1 half at squared or acceleration times time squared. And then, the equation number 4 is uh, final velocity square is equals to initial velocity square. Again, that's uh, B sub O square plus 2 times acceleration times X. So, yan yung linear motion natin. Now, uh, to do this one, we have to substitute lang. No? Uh, papalitan lang natin yung mga variables, yung letter na nandito into an um, expression of rotational motion. So, yung, ang, yung velocity natin dito can be uh, converted as angular velocity. So, gagamitin natin yung expression ng angular velocity for, uh, for V. So, that is why meron tayong omega dito or angular, angular velocity final is equals to angular velocity initial plus alpha or acceleration times or angular acceleration times time. That's equation number 1. So, lahat ng, in, in summary, so lahat ng mga letters dito ay papalitan mula ng letters na appropriate akma doon sa rotational motion na expression. So, yung distance dito or displacement dyan is, can be theta or angular angular displacement equals 1 half uh, initial angular, angular velocity plus final angular velocity, open and close parenthesis, times time. And uh, angular displacement for equation number 3 is equals to 
uh, initial angular velocity times time plus one half ac angular acceleration times t square and then final angular velocity square for equation number four is equals to initial angular um, velocity square plus two times acce angular acceleration times uh, angular angular displacement and that would be our to complete the rotational motion kinema, uh, equations ito lang yung gagawin natin so inirelate lang natin yeah inirelate lang natin kasi ito ay nagmo-move naman in a, in a fixed direction or uh, i mean fixed axis so ito is a linear motion sa figure 1 ito naman is rotational motion so kung napapansin niyo similar concept lang yung ginamit natin but in the case of rotational motion pa circular path lang yung ating movement so the results listed in this table can be inferred directly from their counterparts in linear motion by substituting the symbol. So ito, ito yung mga counterpart nila. Equation 1 ng rotational motion, ang counterpart niya is equation 1 of linear motion and so on and so forth. Ayan. So let's try to apply ito, itong mga equations na ito in a sample problem. Example, the blades of an electric blender are whirling with an angular velocity of uh, positive 375 radian per second with the puree or button is pushed in. Push in, ha? Take note, take note of the word push in. When the blender button is pressed, the blades accelerates and reaches a greater angular velocity after the blades have rotated through an angular displacement of positive 44 radian. Now, the ang angular acceleration has a constant value of one positive 1,740 radian per second squared. Find the final, ang find the fin final angular velocity of the blades. Okay. So, kung iisipin mo lang, no? kung, kung, kung babasahin mo lang yung problem, medyo may pagka-complicated. But it's a matter of finding the proper equation or right equation. But uh, in this case, all we need to do is to list down the given value and the unknown value before we proceed to the solutions. So, gagawin natin dyan ay hahanapin natin yung mga given value. What are the given values that we have in this problem? Unang binanggit dyan is angular velocity of positive 375 radian per second. That means that would be our initial angular uh, velocity. That is why ilalagay natin dito. W sub O is equals to positive 375 radian per second. Then, second one is uh, ano pa yung binanggit dyan? Um, angular displacement angular displacement is uh, equivalent to positive 44 radian so that is why ilalagay naman natin dito angular displacement or yung theta natin is equals to positive 44 radian and the uh, last one na binanggit dito is the angular acceleration which is equivalent to 1740 radian per second squared at Yan naman ang ilalagay natin dito sa ating alpha. That's uh, equivalent to positive 1740 radian per second squared. And uh, we are tasked to find the angular velocity final. Ito. Final angular velocity. That, that is why ang unknown natin dito is W is equals to in a uh, question mark. So solutions. Ang gagamitin na natin, natin na equation dito is, is equation 4 which is... Uh, um, Angular velocity square is equals to angular, angular sub O, or initial angular square plus, uh, ang, uh, initial angular velocity square plus 2 alpha theta. Okay. Bago natin gamitin ito, ipapaliwanag ko muna kung paano, bakit, bakit yan ang equations. Okay. So, tandaan natin ha, ang given natin is theta, alpha, and uh, W sub O. Balik muna tayo dito. Ano yung given natin doon? Given ang alpha. Given yung alpha natin, meron tayong value. Given ang theta, given ang uh, W sub O. Ayan, mga given yan lahat. Pero, ito, check yan, no? Kasi given. Pero, ang hindi given doon is ito, question mark. Pero, uh, yan yung hinahanap natin. So, ngayon, uh, isahin, isahin muna natin yung, kwan, no? Isahin natin ang ating uh, equation. Imahin muna natin kung paano, paano ba? Bakit ba question 4 ang ginamit natin? So, ganito, pag naghanap tayo. Unang-una mong hanapin sa equation ay dapat andun lahat yung available value, yung given value na binigay ng problem. So, ang given value na binigay sa atin ng problem is alpha, theta, at saka W. So, dito, W meron. Check. Merong alpha. Check. Pero, wala naman siyang sinabi na may time. So, 
that is why ito hindi natin gagamitin yan kasi wala namang involvement ng time dito so hindi natin gagamitin yan now next equation equation number 2 theta meron okay meron theta uh, meron ito tapos ito yung hinahanap natin pero again wala rin involvement ng time sa problem that is why hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yan x ang question number 2 question number 3 merong theta merong uh, initial angu angular velocity pero again walang time na involved that is why x pa rin ito last one meron tayong initial uh, angular velocity which is ito meron tayong alpha which is ito check check na rin yan meron tayong theta which is ito check na rin yan at yung hinahanap natin is w andito na siya oh so check perfect equation na arrange na kaagad that is why yan yung gagamitin natin ngayon na equation in solving for this problem kaya nakapag decide tayo na the equation number 4 which is uh, uh, w square is equals to w sub o square plus 2 alpha delta uh, theta ay gagamitin natin so gagamitin natin yan but we have to do some uh, basic uh, algebra muna to uh, equate this equation so, since ito ay naka-square, naka ang gagawin natin dyan ay we have to square din yung both sides of the equation. Square root sign. So, W sub O square plus uh, 2 alpha theta. So, ito, magka-cancel out sa index dito na to So, magiging W na lang yan. This is equals to. Ito, hindi mo pwedeng i-cancel out ito. Uh, dito kasi one term ito. This one ay wala naman silang square na 2. So, hindi, hindi siya pwedeng i-cancel out. That is why mag-retain pa rin siya as W sub O square plus 2 alpha theta. Leading to this equation. Kaya naging ganyan yung equation natin. So, okay na yung equation natin. Ang susunod na lang natin ngayong gagawin ay isa-substitute na lang natin yung mga given value. So, madali na lang yan. Yung, uh, sorry, this is, uh, ito ay... W sub O yan. Initial yan. So, isa-substitute natin. Ano yung initial uh, angular velocity natin? Ito. So, isa-substitute natin yan dito. Na naging ganito na siya. Pero, don't forget the square uh, sign dyan. So, 375 radian per second. Open and close parenthesis. Square. Plus, 2 times ano yung value ng alpha. Ang value ng alpha natin ay ito. Kaya isa-substitute natin dyan, open parenthesis, 1,740 radian per second squared, close parenthesis. Ano yung value ng theta natin? Ang value ng theta natin ay ito. Oops. Uh, erase muna natin. Value ng theta natin ay ito. Kaya, open and close parenthesis, 45 radian close parenthesis. So, ayan na. Na-substitute na natin. And, gagawin natin ganito. Step by step muna tayo. E square mo muna ito. 375 times 375. Ito yung ibibigay sa'yo. So, e square ng radian is radian square. Kaya, naging radian square yan. Per, ang square ng second, ng second is second square. Kaya, naging second square din yan. Then, plus, ito, i-multiply mo muna ito. Ito muna ang ayusin natin. So, 1,740 times 44 will give us 76,560. Radian times radian, radian square. Then, ito, kopyahin mo lang yan, second square. Then, andyan pa rin yung 2. Hindi pa kasi natin ginalaw yan. Then, equals. Square root of, standby mo na ito hanggat hindi pa natin ito na-simplify. Yung, yung, yung itong, itong side na ito. Ayan. So, standby mo na yan. So, kopyahin mo lang. 14,065 radian square over second square plus ito, i-multiply mo na dyan. So, 2 times 76,560 radian square per second squared is equals to 15,000, uh, 15,153,120. Radian square divided uh, per second square. And then, pwede mo na siya ngayon, i-plus. I-add mo na yan siya. So, 14,065 radian square over uh, per second square plus 15,31,20 radian square per second square will give us 293,745 radian square per second square. Kopyahin mo lang itong, itong unit nila. Kopyahin mo lang yan. Kasi we're performing addition. Sa scientific uh, notation natin, 
ay kukupihin lang natin yung exponent pag pareho lang sila ng number of exponent so parang ganito rin dito kupihin mo lang yung unit kasi pareho lang naman sila eh. since addition naman so kupihin mo yan magiging 29.3745 radian square per second squared then saka mo siya square root ang square root nyan is equals to 542 square root ng radian square is radian square root ng second square is second so 542 radian per second Uh, radian over second that would be our final angular um, velocity or pwede natin express na ganito equals to 542 radian per second and this is our answer for the problem yung unknown value natin dito na final angular velocity so ito yung kanyang final angular velocity so, so imagine from 375 angular velocity nung pinus niya yung button naging 542 radian per second na yung kanyang final angular velocity and that would be our answer for this problem thank you so much and if you have some clarifications and dyan naman yung group chat natin feel free to post your question at sasagutin natin yan so that would be all thank you so much and uh, god bless